I thought she was the meanest, <laughs> the, the most horrible, most disrespectful of anybody in the U.S. Senate. But Social Security will be totally protected under me. Under them, it will not be protected because we will have a stock market crash, the likes of which you've never seen. Your taxes will be doubled and tripled. And your regulations will go through the roof, which is what was causing the problems with the country in the first place. So they're sabotaging the post office, and they're not allowing the post office to function properly. And they're certainly not allowing universal mail-in votes when they do that. But equally importantly, they're not allowing $3.5 billion in funds to do voting that they'd like to do. Therefore, all of this and all of the tremendous mistakes that were made with regard to mail-in voting, all of these tremendous mistakes, you can't even, you can't even do it. I would imagine the courts, you know, this is in many courts right now. Amid inaction, President Trump stood up for every American who, through no fault of their own, needed relief. Politics, as usual, should find no place during this pandemic, but Democrats rejected multiple clean bills to provide relief. The American people are tired of games, they seek leadership, and President Trump delivered. Most worthy president in history. He works 24 7. He can be in Bedminster, Mar a Lago, the Oval Office, or anywhere in between. He can be at the Whirlpool factory like we were on Thursday, celebrating. Uh, working men and women benefiting from tariffs. He's working 24-7. Take 75% of the cost share so that if states put up another $100 from 350 or 400, which is their average across the country, then you'll have essentially uh, 300 to 400 plus another 300 to 400. Really, if the states are uh, generous, that could be $800 uh, unemployment assistance uh, per week. What a 